This is the dryer from that little rooftop unit from the other day that was the, the factory dryer inside the unit. And we had um, that was the other dryer that a, cust a company had installed externally. So it was downstream of this one. Um, so I just thought we'd cut it open and see what it looked like in there. Um, you wouldn't believe that doubt that is. That's as rusty as that looks. is as rusty as it looks. I mean I'd be quite worried if the system had that much rust on the outside, uh, let alone inside it. Yeah, that is uh, pretty rusty. You can see how much rust has come out of it. And that is, um, yeah, it shouldn't be any rust at all. I mean, this is more than a little water. This has come out of a working system, it's not something that's been sat. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Gauze filter, you can still see through that. That's a little felt pad. Hey, it's terrible. Not tiny dry at all. It's Danfoss, they make some good quality stuff, I think. Mean, Either damn fossils fall and uh, two make so tend to use I've got another spool in my uh, don't know. Don't think we'll bother cutting that one open. Uh, this is an older style Danfoss uh, dryer when they used to paint them white. That's still hot and grinding. Um, we had a little triangular disc. Uh, spring to give that a bit of tension. Just tapped it, and there's a load of little coppery um, bits that have come out of there. Obviously, when when it was piped up. Let's see if I can get the core. I changed this because it was blocked up. Here we go. Um, you can see how that's still shiny in there, that's been sat on the, uh, my scrap pile for probably a month or two. Um, so there's no, there's no rust in there really, um, compared to this one. So that's not like it's because it's been sat outside for a bit. It's only been there a, a week at most, two weeks maybe. That's the core. That's the two there. That's another one I've got. That's out of a 16 cubic inch. That's probably an 8. Um, and this one is 3. 032. 3 is cubic inch and 2 is 8, so 2 eighths is quarter. So it's a quarter inch dryer. Um, that's probably what's blocked up. That looks quite. Muddy looking. Let's 
I mean, that almost looks like it's melted, so I don't know. It could have been from sparks from the grinder, I suppose. But in the centre there, you can see it looks very dusty and muddy, so... Maybe that's um, dust, probably copper oxide and crap from when it was installed. Again, you've got a strainer. Yeah, that little bit of rust in the centre is where it's been open. What happens is when they block it up, quite often these get um, bent because of pressure behind them. There's 200, well, maybe even more than that, so they say 200 pounds per square inch behind that. Um, that's got to be more than a square inch, so say you've got 300 pounds. 150 kilos hanging off of that, they don't take much to bend it. And they get pushed down over the outlet. Um, and instead of the liquid being able to go through all them holes, it can only go through the centre. And it just blocks up worse from there. I mean, actually, that's got quite um, a little dip in the centre there, which is probably lines up with the um, that dip there. It's probably been pushed tight against that.